Welcome back to Timo's Dinky Detailing. Today I'm going to the flea market. Actually I'm doing this one. This is the uh, Prudhomme's Antiques. It's on the Queen Elizabeth Way between Toronto and the Niagara region. And it's there all the time. I decided to go for a walk. And I'm looking for some toys to work on. It's been a very busy half a year. And I wanted to let everybody know that I've also been fighting with the with the uh, YouTube about some music and finally got all that stuff sorted out but what you're going to be seeing in the near future is a a bunch of Redux uh, videos I'm putting up the original uh, videos because uh, before I could figure out how to properly attribute the music I got the sound taken out of some of these well, there's a Shinsei power toy of some sort so I'm looking through here. Anyway, I've sorted out the music issues and uh, so I want to repost all of the videos so you're going to see those coming up. There's a majorette. Limousine. A lot of good stuff at this flea market. Lots of tin toys as well. If I was a collector, this would be the place to go. Yeah, so it's uh, just before Christmas. I'll be going away for two weeks, but you're going to see some postings of uh, some some of the old videos coming back up again. Uh, I apologize for that, but I want to have the originals back online uh, without all the sound missing. So at the flea market, I looked through a lot of toys, a lot of toy cars, and baskets full of them. And many of them are just very cheap, very plastic, and not of quality that I would want to restore. But in between, you could find some, some fairly good toys that uh, could be worked on. This one is a tin toy. It's a beautiful one if you're a tin toy collector. This is some Chinese one that has absolutely no labeling, and they want $10 for it. But it kind of looks close to new. Again, lots of these little boxes, and I was hoping to find some dinky toys in them. And eventually I did. They had these little uh, tents, or little cabins, and inside there's antiques. And they're open usually on the weekends, and the rest of the week. And I think the, just the main store, the main couple of buildings are open. So I pull this one up. Oh, it's not a car, it's a, it's a box. There's a big one. It's mostly plastic. Um, I don't know how you read that. Polysty, polysteel. Somebody probably knows what it is. Uh, then there's one down here. Again, it's made in Taiwan. And that's all it says on the bottom. Now this one's a matchbox. Uh, I'm not really into doing these toys. Uh, so I didn't pick that up. But again, I found some tin toys. I imagine they're pretty expensive. So here's an interesting looking box. I'll go rummage around in there and see what I can find. And there's something from the movie Cars. And this one is just labeled as Pixar. And here's the, uh, looks like a Hudson Hornet. That one, the bottom is cast as well. They look pretty nice, so I picked those up. And just to see how many tin toys there really are. I'm, I'm actually surprised because I figure there must be a lot of collectors who would want these toys, but there's plenty of them here. So back on the bench, I will have an unboxing. Actually, it's going to be more of an unbagging. And of course, to my great embarrassment, it's a Dollarama bag that was given to me by one of the vendors. So I'll talk from the bench. Uh, there wasn't a lot of great stuff, but there were some cars. This one, uh, what is it called? Motor Max. It's made in China. It's actually pretty nice, 55 Chevrolet. Looks in pretty good condition. It has this massive trailer hitch that somebody has added on to it. And even then, they wound up giving the thing away. So that's, that's one. That can be used for a project, make a race car out of it, or a hot rod or something. And in that genre, here's, here's a small uh, matchbox size toy. This is Racing Champions, I don't know, made in China, of course. 
and it has a lot of detail on the bottom and it's got number 77 Jasper engines and transmissions that's a pretty good toy uh, it's a Ford Taurus and it can be done up like like some other race car we'll see this one's just scratched up enough that you don't want to keep it now here's one here's a bulldozer this one is a case and it's got something on the back Taylor Woodrow I think that one may have been added may have been original I'll look that up so it's a less knee toy matchbox king size case tractor so I did a I did a, a caterpillar tractor similar to it this one is two-tone looks like it'll be interesting project just pulling these out at random here we've got a Mustang Shelby Cobra you know it's a Cobra because it has a Cobra on it so it's a GT 500 and it's a very basic there's no opening doors or anything and it has a pretty basic everything's basic it has rubber tires with plastic hubs that have been chromed so what is this one at? oh it's a Ertl huh made in USA this one so it's a Shelby GT 500 made in USA so not bad that'll be a nice that would be a nice restoration it says Shelby on the back and has got the Shelby tail lights. Uh, it's a little bit uh, roughly treated, but I think it will come out pretty nice one day. I'll pull out another one. Okay, I pulled this one out and I bought it because because this is a Dodge Viper. This is one of my favorite cars of all time, at least of the new ones that were built in my lifetime and it's gorgeous but of course it's just uh oh this one's made in italy it's a burago so it's not bad uh everything was in good condition on this one it's a little bit scratched up and uh, the wheels are a little bit i mean it's it's been played with but it's in good shape so that's going to be fun to do because i really love these vipers they stormed all over the 24-hour circuits and they were they were just fantastic I don't know they should have kept making them so that'll be a nice project one day too now I went to some place and I found the box and you can see this one this is these ones are from from the cars movies and so that's why this one has eyes and it's a it's a Hudson Hornet and, and all they've done is they've slightly changed it so that the windshield is a little bit too steep and the rest of it is actually pretty good so I'm thinking this is one that I can turn into into an ordinary Hudson and uh, the windows are just painted on I'm not sure if I can do anything about that I can cut them out and put gloss in it probably that's what I'll do and I might move the windshield uh, out to a reasonable depth otherwise it looks like a pretty nice car and it has the logo on the trunk so it's really it, it's really based on the real car and it's a nice casting and the bottom is a casting as well although it doesn't really say much about it, it just says oh it's a Hudson Hornet Disney Pixar so it doesn't have you can read that there we go it doesn't have a lot of great detail or anything but it's nice it's a it's all it's all cast and obviously this is designed as a toy for a small child but uh, I think it can come out as a pretty nice car they didn't have just the one and they had also this one which is a Volvo this actually looks very close to the uh, real thing except again very steep windshield and it's got eyeballs in there but this one looks to me like that uh, those windows uh, are actually going through the body so it's got plastic windows although it's black I don't know if I can mold a new windshield but it, it's a beautiful car and I think I could restore it uh, to look like 
the actual Volvo instead of, I mean, it, it's in pretty good shape as, as a toy from the Cars movies. And it's got pretty nice wheels. This one's orange or gold, I guess, and this one's silver. Don't know why. Did this one get painted? Who knows? The other ones are all silver. So I think that could come out looking like a very nice Volvo. What does it say on the bottom? Mattel. Um, Disney, Pixar, China, Mattel. And it's got some other numbers there. So again, it's pretty good. This one seems to be a plastic base and rivets instead of screws, but this is a heavy duty casting. So it's pretty nice and I think it'll come out as a real car and pretty good if I work on it a bit. Okay, then there's a couple of small ones here. Here's the uh, Beetle and see the, it's been well played with. Wheels are all hacked up, uh, but it's got uh, plastic windows, and I think those are in good enough shape that I can polish those up. It's got some poor casting design, and it's got headlights that poke through the casting. It's a cast base, and it's a Corgi Junior. There you go, whiz wheels. So that's got rivets, they can be driven out, and I can put screws in their place. I think this could be a very nice restoration, and it's Maybe it was a police car originally. I don't know. It's got a hole in the roof. So that's got a lot of potential for the future. And it's got all the parts. Looks great. There's another small one in here. This one I bought uh, because, uh, because of Andrew and Maple Leaf uh, Restorations. It's a Porsche. So this is a possible one for the annual uh, Porsche Invitational. It's a real toy. Yeah. It's a real toy made in China. So it's a nice casting. It's actually a really nice uh, Porsche that... Uh, I'm not a Porsche fan, so I'm not sure what model that is, but I'm sure I'll be able to find that out. And the last one, that's the best one of the lot. This as an Aston Martin, as a DB5, let me see, it's a dinky toy, and it's a DB5 for sure. So that's, that's a really nice find uh, at a flea market, it has the doors, they open and close, uh, it's missing windshield, and it's missing the bonnet. This is, looks like a one that has steering which is great because I love the ones that have steering and it's got the interiors in good shape it's missing steering wheel as well and I think I can either reproduce those parts or I can buy them uh, it's in it's not complete but it's in pretty good condition it's uh, the paint has been rather poorly treated it's been repainted it was obviously metallic red which is great because I like painting metallic red. So this one will be a lot of fun. And this is the gem that I picked up at the flea market. So in spite of the poor sound quality, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Timo's Dinky Detailing. Uh, I'll see you in the new year. In the meantime, be seeing you.